the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Father for his pardon and his mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand and led them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives to know the Lord. All, from the least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation 
for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was a saying in the ancient world that all roads lead to Rome, but during the holy season of Lent in the church, we celebrate that all roads lead to the cross. In today's gospel, Jesus tells the crowds that I am soon to be lifted up. He's foretelling his death on the cross. And when I am lifted up, you will know me and see me. And so it is Jesus tells us that by his cross, he will indeed offer to the world, not to one group, but to all nations, he will show his love and mercy and offer salvation. In today's gospel, we hear that as the crowds are descending upon Jerusalem for the great feast of Passover, it is not only Jewish pilgrims, but even Gentiles, Greeks, and they push forward. They come looking to see Jesus. The gospels do not tell us if they wish to see Jesus because they heard of his great miracles, or if indeed because they were Greek, they sought the wisdom of one greater than Plato or Aristotle, but they wish to see Jesus. Just as in Bethlehem, wise men, Gentiles, came seeking Jesus, now at the time of his death, again, wise men come seeking Jesus. And Jesus reveals to them that the cross is about to take place, 
But the cross will not be seen as a sign of defeat. In fact, Jesus reveals to them the cross will be a sign of victory. He will be lifted up, and on the cross He will open His arms over all nations as a king reaches out over all citizens. And it's there on the cross we will behold the greatest love story ever told, that God loved the world so much He would send His Son to take away our sins, to take away our death, to take away our darkness, and to show us the way to heaven. My brothers and sisters, we are now coming into the last days, indeed the last hours of this season of Lent. May you and I pray before a crucifix every day, and may we look at the cross with a sense of awe and wonder, because by the cross we can see how precious we are in God's eyes, how much He loves us, and that promise that if we believe and follow Him, we will share in the glory of heaven. May you and I hear the words of Jesus today and remember that because of the cross, the gates of heaven are opened. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in our Father's love and mercy, let us place our needs before him. For the leaders of the church, may they proclaim the good news of Christ's saving gospel to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer, may they see their hardship as the grain of wheat dying in order to produce a new life of hope and trust in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, May they know the peace and happiness of God's kingdom with the saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, look with love upon the needs and prayers of your church. These petitions we ask today, for we ask them all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Forgive our sins as we 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, of all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. My name is Jared Zimmer and I'm the director of the Word on Fire Institute. Much like I'm sure a lot of guys experience, you know, once you get married and you start focusing on your career, a lot of times you end up removing yourself from those brotherhoods that are around you, and I, I experienced that myself. What the Knights were able to offer was a brotherhood, a community of like-minded guys who were able to come together, call each other to being great Catholics, striving to really truly change your community. The Knights offer a vast amount of opportunities for not only the men, but also their families uh, to live and grow in the faith together. Now it is very easy to join the Knights. Joining online is just one click away. Men can get connected with councils as soon as they join and start participating in a lot of the activities right away. I'm a Knight because I desire a brotherhood of people who can grow in holiness together.